Welcome to the Unapologetic Mompreneur, the podcast for mums with an online business who are ready to take back their time, home, business and self so they can restore the balance and thrive both at home and at work without feeling like they have to choose between the two. I'm your host, Sarah Dew, life and biz coach for mumpreneurs. I'm also a mum, stepmom, wife, introvert, breast cancer survivor and your mentor for making a change for the better. I've learned how to go from surviving to thriving and unapologetically create a business I love and the life I want for me and my family without worrying about what other people think. And now I'm here to help you do the same. Because being an unapologetic mumpreneur doesn't mean that we're selfish or that we don't care about others. It simply means that we are not afraid to show up as our true authentic selves, to step into our purpose, do what we know is right for ourselves and the ones we love, and take the steps we need to take to make our dream life and business a reality. Join me each week where I'll be sharing all of my best tips and strategies, plus the occasional dose of tough but a gentle love to help you feel empowered, motivated, and confident to take action so that you can become the mum, wife, biz owner, and woman you know you are meant and deserve to be. So are you ready to unapologetically create a business and life you love? Let's do this. Hey there, and welcome to episode one of the Unapologetic Mumpreneur podcast. For this very first episode, I thought it would make really good sense to just share with you what it means to be an unapologetic mumpreneur. And if you're tired and fed up with all of the noise out there telling you how to grow your business and run your home and parent your kids, or you're feeling tired of feeling guilty about wanting a successful online business as well as being a mum, and you're ready to do things your way without worrying about what other people think, this episode is for you. I want you to know that you deserve to have the business you want and the family life that you want to live. Because guess what? It's your life and you get to do and call the shots. It's time to kiss goodbye to all of the needs and shoulds and start doing things your way. It's time to create a business and life you love that's on your terms. It's time to become an unapologetic mumpreneur. I spent far too long during the early stages of my business and actually most of my adult life worrying about what other people think all the time. That I would condition myself to the way that I behaved, that I would say what I thought people wanted me to hear and I would dumb down who I was instead of actually being my true authentic self. And I cannot tell you, how much it held me back in so many areas of my life and also how frustrated and lost I felt. And it was only when I embarked on this journey of becoming unapologetic and starting to live in a true authentic way that felt right for me and showing up as an unapologetic mumpreneur in my business that things changed. I want you to have a thriving life, to go from surviving to thriving and create that business that of your dreams without feeling guilty about spending time between with your kids and your laptop. I want you to create a life with your family that is on your terms. It's time for you to become an unapologetic mumpreneur. But what exactly is an unapologetic mumpreneur and how can becoming one help you thrive both at home and at work without feeling like you have to choose between the two? And how can being an unapologetic mumpreneur help you create the life you want for you and your family without worrying about what other people think? That's what this episode is all about. So what does it mean to live an unapologetic life? The very best definition that I've come across is this. Being unapologetic is about validating yourself and being so accepting of yourself that you no longer need to seek any outside validation or approval in order to feel good enough or worthy. And for me, that sums it up so, so well, because there is so much noise out there of the things that we should be doing and the things that society tell us is right and wrong, of how to parent, how to home, 
run our homes and how to look after and run our businesses of all of the things that we should be doing and that if we don't conform to them that there is something wrong with us and that if we don't do those things that we're setting ourselves up for judgment and failure because let's be honest we all want to be liked and as humans we want to be part of that tribe and if we're doing something that is out of that norm that we're not conforming that cause people to question us and look at us funny and judge the things that we're doing that can make us feel like we are outside of that circle, that we're on our own and that we're lonely. And so we start to condition ourselves. We start to change who we are. We start to behave the way that people think that we should be behaving just so that we can get that validation, seek that approval and actually feel worthy and like we fit in. But by doing that, we are dumbing down who we are really called and meant to be, especially in our businesses. Because when we start our online businesses as an entrepreneur, as a mumpreneur, We are doing it because we are passionate about something, that we are called to do something, that there is a certain person or a certain group out there that we want to serve, that we are feeling called to serve. And by not showing up as who we truly are, being a a true authentic selves and instead putting ourselves out there as what we think other people think are wanting us to be and not saying things for fear of worrying or upsetting people, we are not going to be able to serve those people because we are not they're not going to be drawn to us because we are not being truly unapologetically ourselves and the most wonderful thing about living an unapologetic life is that we are showing up every single day as the person we want to be we are not wearing those four or five different masks showing up as one person with family and friends another person at work and another person when we're on our own we are actually just being who we really are because we have learned about the actual true thing of living an unapologetic life and being truly truly us is that we don't need that external validation and that external feeling of approval and worthiness in order to feel good enough or worthy about ourselves. We listen to what it is that really matters to us, what is right for us and our family, and we take everything else on board, but we ask ourselves what works for us, and then we're not afraid of stepping out and actually doing those things and making them happen. Because ultimately, being an unapologetic person and an unapologetic mompreneur does not mean that we are selfish some say that it can mean that we're selfish that we don't apologize when we should that we're rude or we're pushing our thoughts onto other people you know opinions onto other people and we we don't care about other people and other people's thoughts and feelings but that's not the case yes we do care of course we care especially care most about the ones we love most as well and we care about their feelings but we're not going to worry about whether what they say is what we should be doing we'll listen to their thoughts and opinions but we have the power within ourselves and we trust our own inner judgments and our own gut feelings as to what is right for us and it means that we're not afraid to show up as our true authentic selves to step into our purpose and do what we know is right for ourselves and our families the ones we love and then take the steps we need to make our dream life and our business a reality we're not afraid of showing up and doing the things that we want to do so living apologetically is is one thing what does it mean to be an unapologetic mompreneur how do the two tie together For me, as an unapologetic mompreneur, it means that I'm showing up every day in a way that is true to how I want to live my life with my family and my business, that my business is part of my life, it's not all of it, and that family is the absolute forefront of my mind, that everything I do links back to family. Family is my absolute core values, and I know deep down what is best for my family and the things that matter to us the most and the way we want to live our lives. I also know what matters to me most in my business, what my vision for my business is, who I want to help, who I want to serve, how I want to help them. And I'm not afraid of doing it the way I want to do instead of all of the way that you could argue all of the gurus out there tell you to do things. That I, certainly in the early days, that's exactly what I was doing. I was shaping and molding myself. I was doing the things that I thought other people wanted to hear and see from me. I was hiding. I was not showing up as as who I really am and who and what my message is and who I want to help and who I want to serve I was doing everything based on whatever current course I was following and doing and I was switching and chopping and changing and wondering why I wasn't getting anywhere and in the end I realized and had decided that it was time to stop that it was time for me to go actually is this really what I want my business to look like 
Is this really how I want to serve? Am I really coming across as who I am or am I hiding being who I think people want to see and hear from me? And I was. And so I went on that journey of actually asking myself, who am I really? Who is my true authentic self? What is my message? What are my values? What matters to me most? And how do I want to run my business? I started doing things my way. I took on board the ideas and the opinions and listened to everything that I was being shown and taught in all of the courses that I was taking. And then I stopped and I asked myself, does this work for me? Is what they are saying true? Does it really matter and want to be how I want things to be? And if not, how how do I want it to do? What do I want it to do? And I carved and shaped it the way that I wanted to shape it. And when I started doing that about 18 months ago, that is when everything changed for my business. And it's exactly the same in family life too, because a mumpreneur or a fempreneur or a mum boss or a mum in biz, whatever you call yourself, when you are a mumpreneur, you're a mum with an online business, you are juggling all of those roles that come with it. I'm CEO of your business, running your home and looking after your kids. And that also means as well as being unapologetic about how you create and design your business, you are unapologetic in the way you run your home and you do and live your life with your family. You parent how you want to parent. You don't judge your worthiness of being a mother based on the opinions of all of the other mums in the playgrounds. The mums that are all in the other toddler mum groups that you go to. You can look and take their opinions on board and their ideas and their support, but then you're not afraid of actually saying, is this right? Is this how I want to parent my kids? Is this how I want to do things? Is this how I want to manage my home? You're not afraid of actually looking at it and asking, does this work for me? And if not, saying no and carving your own path because you don't need that validation from outside. You are taking it from within and asking yourself what works for you. And you no longer need to seek that outside validation or approval in order for you to feel good enough or worthy. And when you start to do that, oh my goodness, it is just amazing. It changes. Yes, the struggles along the way and you have to learn to deal with the negative Nancy's and the comebacks and the the resistance from people that you love and all of that sort of stuff, all of which we're going to dive into on this podcast in order to make this happen. But it is nothing more satisfying and fulfilling of waking up each day and living your true authentic life of being who you truly are and living unapologetically. So how do you get started in doing all of this? I want you to know that this is a journey. It's not a destination. It's not something that you do where you just wake up one morning and suddenly you are an unapologetic entrepreneur. I am still learning and there are still areas of my life that I want to work on being unapologetic about. And it's a growing journey and everything that I want that I'm going to be doing, I want to share with you as well. I want to be raw and real and share with you my journey to living a more unapologetic life and the steps I'm taking to become an unapologetic mompreneur so that you can do it too. But I want you to know that it is possible because I have got to this point now and if I can do it, then I know you can too. Because in my early 20s, I was the super quiet mouse that would not say boo to a goose. I would do what I could to conform and fit and seek, constantly seek that outside validation. But I wasn't happy. I just could not put my finger on it. I didn't know what it was. It took me so, so long to realise that I had spent so long hiding, that I had spent so long dumbing myself down, that I had spent so long quieting my voice, that I had completely lost who I was. I had no idea how to get it all back. I didn't know what I wanted to do or how to make it happen. And it's taken a lot of introspection and a lot of personal growth work. And I am here to say to you that I have got your back. I'm going to help you fast track this. I don't want you to have the same. I want you to become unapologetic. I want for you to wake up and feel that you do not need that outside validation to feel good enough or worthy because I want you to know that you are good enough, that you are worthy, that it's your life. You get to call the shots and you deserve to create the business that you want and the family life that you want to live together. And I'm here with this podcast to help you make it happen. And so my action for you today is to spend some time thinking about this question of what does an unapologetic mompreneur look like for you? If you were to show up every day in every area of your life as your true authentic self, if you were being who you wanted to be, you were sharing the thoughts and opinions that you had without worrying about backlash or judgment from other people. If you were showing up online in your business, doing things the way you wanted it to be without worrying about what other people thought, 
How would you show up? What would it feel like? What would you do? What would your day look like? How would you spend your time with your family and your kids? How would you run your home? What decisions would you make to help you live a life that you love on your own terms without worrying about what other people think? Don't worry about the how for now because I have got your back and that's exactly what we're going to be sharing over the coming weeks and months on this podcast. I'm going to be sharing with you lots of tips and strategies and all of the things that I have learned, the strategies and everything else that I have discovered through lots of hard work and trial and error over the last few years on my journey to becoming an unapologetic mompreneur and give you the steps and strategies too so that you can take what will work for you and design it and help you design a business and life that you love that is on your terms without worrying about what other people think. I hope that this has helped and given you some empowerment, motivation, some inspiration and sort of understand a bit better of what I mean when I'm talking about what an unapologetic mompreneur is and how you can get started today. I'm super excited to share this journey with you and I'm truly honoured that you've decided to to tune in with me and, and and allow me to be part of your journey to becoming an unapologetic mompreneur. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me for another instalment of the Unapologetic Mompreneur podcast. If you like what you heard, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. And if you have a moment, I would love for you to leave me a rating and a review so that other mompreneurs can find this podcast too. Here's to unapologetically becoming the mum, wife, biz owner and woman you know you are meant and deserve to be. I can't wait to chat with you in the next episode. Bye for now.